one of Tinubu's favorite senators, did not know the cameras were on him. Look at him begging Mr. Ningi to stop exposing the tent senate. But at this time, Mr. Ningi was ready to say it all. National Assembly added 1.27 trillion. And I was very clear. I was not aware of the addition. I was not even aware as I'm seated here of the full budget of the National Assembly. Mr. President, please, 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 can you allow me to speak? Mr. President, perusing through the budget, first, we discover among us anomalies of repetition. We discovered some senatorial districts in this particular document. Some senatorial districts have up to 120 billion. And my senatorial district has just 2 billion. Mr. President, yes. Mr. President, in this budget, in this budget, the year presented to you, I have facts, constituency by constituency. Some 120 billion, some 50 billion, some 30 billion. Mr. President, some have less than 1 billion. Mr. President, as I speak to you, I, Mr. President, as I speak to you, I do not know your check home pay. You know my own. I do not know the check home pay of any of the principal officers. Mr. President, as I speak, I know within the budgetary provisions, you made available funds for purchase of cars. Mr. President, I don't know how much how much you're staying in your cars and the other federal officers. I know how much was spent on individual senators' cars. And as I speak to you here, spending, people are calling me names. I do not receive a single car. All within, all within the budget provisions, Mr. Chairman, all within the budget provisions, I have I have, as a matter of fact, I have five eggs, just like every member of the House of Representatives has five. Mr. President, I do not know the number of your eggs. I do not know the number of the eggs of the Deputy Senate President. You allow me to speculate. And therefore, everything, everything that is in the budget is my concern. Finally, 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 Mr. President, finally, Mr. President, finally, Mr. President, finally, in the course.
Senator Akpabio in another corruption allegation. Just like when he was the head of the Niger Data Commission Affairs. So guys, it appears this corruption of a thing is in the gene. Senator Karimi, Senator Medoki, and they show their anger about this particular statement. And I said, listen to the House of Virgin. In the House of Virgin, did you hear me mention a previous name? Did you hear me mention pardon? Even the one that was read out, there was no. So I quickly, I went to Sokoto and quickly came back to Abuja. As I was arriving in Abuja, here you are, here you have a presidential statement response. Not on the interview I granted, but on this particular version that I said, the president is implementing budget. That I said, the president does not like the North. That I said, the president does not care about the North. And therefore, because of the few miniature that the national media took it, I rose to this assembly and countered with documentary evidence what was said here and what I said. Mr. President, if you have listened, all your agents have listened to the Arise interview and the Correspondent Chapel interview, I said categorically, the President powers stopped as a proposal, as a proposed budget. And I said, there is no way the National Assembly Anything with the budget and it becomes funny. The tapes are there. I think the National Assemblies have powers. And you cannot call that powers funny. And I said I'm very grateful to the presidential spokesman who encountered me said the National Assembly added 2.1. 1.27 trillion. And I was very clear. I was not aware of the addition. I was not even aware as I'm sitting here of the full budget of the National Assembly. Mr. President, please, 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 can you allow me to speak? Mr. President, erosion through the budget. First, we discover sabogos anomalies of repetition. We discovered so many obedience are of the opinion that Mr. Akpabio should be impeached. Because what we are hearing in the 10th Senate is forbidden to the ears. Can you imagine this level of pardon? Is it really facts? So, guys, we look forward to you know getting more updates on all this so like you all know that this senator that exposed all this have been suspended so we hope he will be coming to the media to give us more information i must tell you that these old politicians must be retired nigerians we should be fed up with all these people they don't mean well for the nigerian people no doubt they bought this mandate no doubt they forced the INEC chairman to sell this the people's mandate to them you can see what they are doing peter obi calls it transactional kind of leadership and peter obi said we must be determined to end this criminality so guys you have seen what is happening in the 10th senate these are the people who are supposed to be making laws to ensure nigerians are comfortable and happy being nigerians but you can see the opposite is the case as they are just after their own stomach the man challenged mr akbabio that i don't know the number of your aids i don't know how much you take for your cars i don't even know how much is your salary and all that senior members of the senate so guys the whole system has been hijacked by these politicians anyway let me know what you think in the comment section below 
please don't forget to subscribe to the channel turn on the notification bell please give this video a like so that youtube can recommend it to more people and drop your thoughts in the comment section below thank you